John Sanaya is with me today, and we're going to talk about vocabulary and fluency. You know, words are actually the currency we spend when we are on stage um, talking to members of the public. But then, how do we choose the words? Yes. Yes. <laughs> vocabulary. How, how important is it in public speaking? I like the word currency. <laughs> but I'd rather explain it in another way. Okay. What's the point in carrying an AK-47 without bullets? Quite. <laughs> <laughs> yes, good question. <laughs> yes, so you need your bullets, your arsenal, okay? And uh, that should see you through whatever engagement <laughs> you're having in the public. <laughs> well, even if it is bullets that you're collecting, you need to know the, the type of gun, and you need to know the bullets that are appropriate. Yes. So how do we encourage um, children and young people mm. to acquire the vocabulary that they're going to need in later life? And that's a very good question because um, somehow or the other, we are beginning to leave out the traditional methods with which we were brought up, mm. you know, having a library in the home, making sure that children have enough reference materials to work and play with, you know, word games, right? I grew up playing Scrabbles, yes. uh, games like that. You see, the mind and the brain is such an interesting venue. <laughs> <laughs> it's such an interesting bank, you mm. know. Even things that uh, you're exposed to without your knowledge, you know, get retained, either subconsciously or consciously. Absolutely. So, so it's very important that we keep exposing, you know, the children to these things, and you never know when they will need them. Okay, well, talking about um, uh, selection, there are so many hundreds and thousands of words. Um, how do we actually know that we are selecting the right words for the right, uh, for the right time or the right moment or the right presentation. When you know your audience, it's not just knowing them by name, but knowing how they, what they do, what their habits are, what they like to hear, you know, and uh, this will inform, you know, the, your messaging, right? You cannot be talking to um, motor mechanics, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. As if you were talking to uh, scientists in uh, <laughs> going to space, <laughs> okay? Yeah. So you have to know your audience. Yes, I always say that content is taken, is a given, that you have your content, mm. right? But now you have, to, you have to know your audience, know their colors, know the words, know the sentences, know the cliches, know the jokes, you know, that would resonate, you know. With that particular With that group. particular audience, yes. Mm. So it's important to know your audience. I think the audience has certain expectations um, in terms of the vocabulary that we use yeah. uh, at, at, at whatever level. Um, do, we have, um, do we have a responsibility to, to constantly improve our vocabulary? Oh, yes. Uh, well, once, once your bullet is expended, <laughs> Got to reload. You need to reload. <laughs> and sometimes you have to reload, you know, your arsenal. Mm -hmm. And um, you have to also decide on how you want to use it, you know, when and, uh, and where. Now, word power. Yes. Can we link word power and fluency? That's where skill comes in. And that's where art, the art of public speaking comes in, in, not mm -hmm. just the act, all right? The art allows you to do creative things mm. with your word power. Even your pause is effective mm -hmm. because their expectation is there, you know? And when you stop talking, ah, they notice it immediately that, ah, the, what, the, what's supply, going to happen of, the next? supply of words has stopped. Please, what's going on? Mm. And you use that to get their attention back. In a way, it's okay. uh, creating suspense. It's like creating a cliffhanger. 
Exactly. Yeah, okay. It's a, it's, it is a cliffhanger. A cliffhanger. You know. So it, the way you use your words, it's like painting. It's an art, mm. right? The way you turn it upside down. Repetition of words and sentences also helps. Yes. Well, you, you used know. to be on radio anyway, so you should know more about painting words. Painting words, yes. yeah. yeah. On, on radio, yes. you, you, you rely a lot more mm. on, on your words. Mm. The you words know. tell the story. The words tell the story. Give you the pictures. Yes. yes. And so we're also looking at storytelling. Mm. You use words for storytelling. Absolutely. Without words, you don't have no story. Yes, you're right. Okay, so that's the power of words. Mm. If you bring in the fluency with the words, mm. right, ooh. You've painted it's a perfect picture. Lovely, lovely dish. Yeah, JS, <laughs> I like it. I mm. like that, I like that imagery. The, 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 the story is complete. The story is complete. Yes. Fantastic. Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs>